Hi, it's Anna. I am here with Amy Perkins. Amy Hi. Perkins is a Hi. podcast host. Her show, Keys to Courage, is wildly successful. She also has a LinkedIn video series. Amy is a confidence and life coach. Hi, Amy. Hi, Anna. So glad to be here with you. Awesome. Yes, Amy and I today will be talking about how to create a list of podcasts. And it's so important to start your guest podcasting outreach. And actually, before we begin with the tips, Amy started her podcasting journey by being a guest on podcasts. Now, why was it so important to be a guest podcast first before starting your own show? Honestly, I think it was so crucial to the success I had when I launched my own podcast because being a guest on other shows gave me that confidence and that clarity in my messaging. And every interview that I did, every time I was on another show, I got more confident and I got clearer. And I knew by the time I was ready to launch my own podcast, exactly what that would look like, exactly what the format would be and what was going to work for me. Amazing. Amazing. So this actually gave you clarity. And there are so many people who say that they are not ready to be a guest on podcasts. Now, what can we actually tell them? Be a guest on a podcast before you're ready. Start before you're ready. I have done this in every facet of my life over the last year and a half. After I, I walked away from my 25 year career. And if you want to hear that story, just tune into my podcast, Keys to Courage. After I quit my job, I started everything before I was ready. I started my own website. I started my own newsletter that now goes out to almost a thousand people. I uploaded my first video on YouTube. That first video has over 20,000 views. If I had waited until I felt ready, I never would have been where I am right here, right now, which is in a really exciting place. So if I could give you any advice on when to start, it is now. It's before you're ready. Amazing. So one thing to, to start with would be to build that podcast list, the list to pitch, right? Yes. So going over the tips, I have three tips to share and maybe we can discuss those. The first tip is to do the research. Doing the research is so important because we need to know what kind of shows we pitch, what is this show about, and even if this show accepts guests. And Amy has something to tell us. <laughs> yes, yeah, so my podcast is different. This, the style is called Host on Mic. It is me, and I share stories that have, I've gone through in my own life and stories of friends of mine and, and tips and tools and actionable steps. I don't have guests. So when I'm pitched and I'm pitched all the time, when I get these messages, these emails, I want to be a guest on your podcast. I'd be a perfect guest on your podcast. That shows me someone that's done zero research. Zero. Because if you listen to even one episode, you would see that I don't have guests. And you're wasting your time. You're wasting my time. What you need to do is listen to the podcast that you want to be on. I recommend multiple episodes, but if you don't have time, at least listen to a little bit, a few minutes of multiple episodes. You can get a feel for the host, get a feel for their content, and get a feel to see if you would be a good person to add value to their listeners. Exactly. And also a lot of shows start with the same question. So you don't have to ask what the first question will be, because if you listen to that show, you will know the structure. You will know that first question. Yeah, that was an excellent point. I'm so sorry for all the pitches you get for guests. My goodness. When we do the research and we go over the podcast and we see so many episodes of, of a show, Check out when the last one aired, because it was if it was a year ago, it's really not worth pitching that show. It just means that the host abandoned the show and the show is still available on iTunes because they just didn't remove it, right? And Amy, you have experience with that, correct? Yes, I was actually on a podcast a little over two years ago, one of the first shows I was on. And I went to go look that show up because somebody wanted to get that episode. And 
it was no longer recording. And I, I wouldn't have known that. So, you know, being a podcast host, hosting a podcast is a lot of work and not everybody's going to have that resiliency and that consistency to keep going. So make sure you check to see if the show you're pitching is still going. Absolutely. So that was tip number two. Tip number one, do the research to make sure the show still exists. And tip number three is make sure that listeners are your audience. They are going to be your future buyers. Because if we pitch wrong shows, wrong shows for us, for our audience, for our business, we'll end up growing our business with the people who are not interested in our products. And that's business growth, but there is no depth in that business, right? Right. And you're just wasting your time and the podcast host time. And if you're not going to be a fit for their listeners, you want to add value on these shows that you're on. There are over 700,000 podcasts. So there is a plethora to pick from. And there are multiple shows that you, your messaging and your expertise are a perfect fit for. So find the ones where you're going to add the most value and you will have the biggest results and the biggest return on your time. And you'll be drawing in those perfect clients. Right. You will be building your audience, your platform with the people who are going to be your fans, your audience, your fans, and then your buyers. So yeah, excellent. I think these tips, three tips are tips of gold. Thank you so much, Amy, for your for your tips, for um, all, the, all the wisdom that you've shared. Um, any last words of wisdom that um, you can share about being a guest on podcasts, uh, that, that whole podcasting journey that everybody seems to be talking about? Just when you do your research and you find the shows and you find the hosts and you pitch to the right ones, that's going to lead to an avalanche because you're going to be on a show and there's bound to be other podcast hosts listening or somebody that knows someone and they're going to refer you to a friend. So when you are very specific and do all these tips that, that we shared today, not only will it be a benefit to you and in save you time, but you're going to end up getting more opportunities. Absolutely. We're going to start this snowballing, this avalanche effect. The more shows we are a guest on, the more shows will be inviting us to be a guest on. We'll, ha we'll be doing less pitching because people will be hearing from us and the opportunities are seriously endless. It's Thank you so much, Amy, industry. for sharing all these tips and, and gold with us. I really, really appreciate it. Guys, Keys to Courage podcast is the podcast to listen to. I highly recommend it. I will leave the link below. Check out how Amy does it. Check out her sweetness, her wisdom, and all the good things on the Keys to Courage. Thanks. Thank you.